Okay, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, what you're seeing there is uh, the oscilloscope trace from a very simple system. What I have here is uh, the function generator is feeding those two parallel carbon composition resistors uh, which together produce uh, an ohmage a resistance of 54.3 ohms. Function generator clips are the this big red one and the big black one there. So and then also there's uh, a diode in there with the uh, cathode of the diode towards the red lead of the function generator. And I've got the function generator set to produce a sine wave. And right now we are at about 1.5 kilohertz okay and that's what you're seeing down here is the direct output from the function generator into the channel A of the scope and the baseline is right there and I'll show you there's it's drifted a bit there's the baseline right there Okay. And the reason that it's not, uh, the reason that it's clipped a little bit on the bottom is because the diode is actually conducting there, so you see a little bit of voltage drop there, but the diode is blocking the positive side of the sine wave from reaching the oscilloscope. So we've got the scope right across the resistor, but the function generator is feeding through the diode. Okay, so we essentially have a non-inductive carbon composition shunt with a diode in series and current flowing through it. And then we're looking at the voltage drop across that resistor, that non-inductive shunt, with the oscilloscope. And this is what we see. The top trace with the baseline it's drifted a little bit too, so if I turn that off, top trace, baseline right there, turn it on, so you can see that the whole positive side of the trace is blocked by the diode, right? And uh, the conduction part of the diode is causing a little bit of voltage drop in the function generator's output down on the bottom of those peaks. Right? And that's at 1500 kilohertz okay but let's see what happens if I increase the frequency okay I'm going to increase the frequency to 1.5 megahertz okay so there's 1 megahertz 1.5 megahertz and now we'll get the scope picture back okay so now I guess you can see what's happened the diode has some capacitance and also it has some speed at which it switches so for an AC signal that's at this high a frequency 1.5 megahertz there is almost as much of the signal on the positive side of the baseline as there is on the negative side let's just make sure that baseline hasn't moved okay Get the picture. Whether or not the diode clips the positive part of the signal depends on the speed of the diode and the frequency of the signal. In this case, it's just not fast enough. This little diode that I ripped out of an old television set is just not fast enough uh, to keep up at 1.5 megahertz, which is the operating frequency of the NERD circuit. And uh, let's see, what is GM East is operating at some other frequency. I don't know what it is, and I don't know what kind of a diode that he uses, but certainly we've shown here that a diode is not always just a diode, and that circuit elements perform differently at different frequencies. Thank you for watching.